We've all picked up some new hobbies this year. I've picked up doing my nails. Something that we do with the whole family that will keep us all entertained. And we got some good ideas with cooking. Teaching kids about food and showing them old family recipes is amazing. But some kids are not quite to that level yet, so joining us now with some kid-friendly recipes, we have Noreen Thomas with Doubting Thomas Farms. Noreen, welcome back to the show. What are we making today? It is so simple, Bailey, that it's, it's something from my childhood, and it's just called egg in the hole. It's so simple. Do you cook a lot with your family members or remember a lot of the uh, fond memories of cooking with them? I, we were more of bakers. I remember more of like the baking apple pies or like baking things before Christmas and Thanksgiving, not so much on the cooking aspect. Well, this is one way to really make some fond memories. And they're so simple, Bailey, that you really can't screw them up so even the youngest of children can help you in this kitchen so you're ready for some breakfast I'm ready we're making egg in the hole that's what it's called egg in the hole okay I'm so ready simple <laughs> <laughs> okay first what we're gonna do is select our bread Bailey are you more of a whole wheat or a white bread person a whole wheat is what I would say Okay, so we can have a whole wheat. We can even have something like an herb bread. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to use the white bread for this, is that we're going to just have the kids make a hole in the bread. Very simple. You can also just use a cookie cutter, and you can make a different shape of it, like a cloud or a flower. And we're going to have that hole, take the hole out, Put that aside. And then we're going to grab our cast iron frying pan. And we got, we've got that greased. We have some butter in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of bread and we're going to put either butter on it, but another favorite is cream cheese that's herbed. Uh, we have a cream cheese here that I just added some herbs. Do you have some favorites, Bailey, that you like of herbs? Ooh, you're putting me on the spot. I'm good with anything, anything. <laughs> okay, this one is a little stronger. It has chives in it, a couple of different herbs, and we're going to put that on our bread, and then we're going to start to fry that. Real simple, we've got the hole in there. So as we fry that, we're going to take one egg, and this is fresh from the chickens this morning. So we're going to break that open, and we're going to put that right in the middle. There we go. Right in the middle and start to fry that. We're going to fry that until it's a semi-solid. And when you can't see through the egg anymore, then we're going to take our piece that we took out of the bread, the hole, and we're going to put that right on top, butter it a little bit, and then flip it over and we're going to have egg in the hole. You have your egg and your bread all in one. And I'll show you what it looks like. We can cut into it as well. So you can see it, it's nice and brown. And it just looks like, almost like French toast, Bailey. Um, we'll cut into it. Are you a soft egg or kind of, do you like it really solid? A little bit more solid, personally. This one's perfect for you then, Bailey. Here we go. I wish we could just be together and, it's, and try it. Oh, you would love this. Uh, the fresh farm eggs from the area and the wheat, this was just taken off the field really probably a couple days ago and ground up and made into bread. It was It's fabulous. Uh, in fact, wheat right now is coming off the fields as well as some of the oats. So in farm country, this is kind of a nod to the farmers too, hardworking farmers out there. Uh, the new beautiful wheat from this area is coming in. So it's lots of fun. Can you think of things that you'd like to have? Maybe a jam on there or maybe oh, a maple a syrup? Oh, a good rhubarb jam. Chef's kiss. That sounds good. 
rhubarb strawberry jam would be perfect on this ready to go you can even eat it on the run you can it freezes really well so you can make a bunch of these all at one time with different shapes and off you go perfect well we're going to take a short break and we're going to come right back with noreen stick with us <laughs> 